Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I have a network at home. It's a home network in Scott Kitchen, after watching my entire house tour video, had a few questions related to my home network, and I thought I would answer them uh, in a series of videos, it, and they would all be related. Uh, so one of the questions, in general, how is your home network set up? From watching your house tour, I see that your connection comes in down in the basement, and then you have your cable modem and various switches and routers to push the connection throughout the rest of your house. What I'm really curious about is how is everything wireless, even for your desktop machines, say upstairs in your home office? Do you have to use wireless adapters to get internet on those, or do you have cables running all around your house? The main reason I'm interested in knowing this is because I'm going to be moving into a new apartment where the internet connection comes down in the basement and currently is just set up to be completely wireless throughout the house or I guess it would be the apartment. Uh, there's no real easy way to run wire all the way to where my desktop system will be. So uh, I have, well, first of all, a great wireless uh, range uh, here in, in the, the house. Uh, I, I can get uh, like five bars on uh, an airport up here uh, in relation to the uh, wireless access point, which, as Scott pointed out, is in the basement. Uh, I do, however, have a cabling set up inside of my house. So every room uh, has a port uh, for me to plug into. Uh, sometimes, even though I've got this notebook computer sitting right here, sometimes I have it connected in a wired capacity and sometimes it's wireless. Uh, by and large, if I know I'm going to be transferring a lot of files on the network back and forth instead of connecting to the five gigahertz wireless network, uh, I have it uh, set up, you know, just to be, you know, connected by way of a wired connection through the Ethernet port, since it's gigabit speeds that way. Uh, and so, you know, having the option there is certainly nice, being able to plug in. I do have, my desktop system is, uh, that's plugged into the wall, I mean, not just electricity, I mean specifically the network uh, port, uh, it's plugged in. I could switch to a wireless connection on that, but I'd rather not doing, uh, and rather not do that specifically from this machine since it's my primary machine here inside the house. Um, you know, I, I have also gone through a series of videos where I've been tweaking my wireless network. I, I now have a, essentially a repeater set up, uh, two airports, uh, one in the basement and one here in my home office that repeats uh, the signal. Uh, and it allows me from you know, to pretty much roam around the entire house and have a, a good network connection no matter where I am, at least in, in the areas where... I tend to be hanging out more, whether it's down in the kitchen, home office, bedroom. I don't hang out in the bedroom, but sometimes I, I do like to get online uh, fr from there. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a combination between the two. Uh, the wireless is there uh, so that I can roam around the house, not uh, having to be tethered to something, but having the wired option there is, is nice. Uh, my suggestion for you is to pick up, uh, you know, something that is going to allow you to strengthen the signal that you're getting uh, from, you know, wherever that uh, access point happens to be. Uh, and, you know, that may serve you well. Uh, if you're relying on someone else to manage that network connection, though, yeah, that might be a, a trick and a half. At least it may not be as easy as it would be if you could uh, control uh, what that, uh, I guess, the or originating point of the uh, wireless network would be doing. Your best uh, bet is to pick up uh, a network card or a wireless network card that is rated to have having one of the best antennas. Um, and that's one thing that I, I've noticed uh, in the, the computers that I do have. My Macs, especially the newer ones, uh, tend to work better. Um, the, the antenna uh, works quite well. As I said, I could be sitting right here from all the way across the house, and even with just that one base station broadcasting a signal, I can still get about four or five bars, at least on the 2.4 gigahertz network, uh, from this particular uh, location. And that's, you know, fine for, you know, your average downloads and, and uploads, really. Um, you know, you're, you're not going to hit the, uh, the, the ceiling of the spectrum uh, from, uh, you know, for most internet connections. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, uh, your best bet is uh, getting something that has a, a strong or a good antenna to help make whatever signal you can get even better. Uh, or at least, you know, make the most out of the signal that you are getting. So uh, there you go. Thanks again for watching the, the house tour. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop me a line. Chris at Perillo.com. At Chris Perillo on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. LockerGnome.com, LockerGnome.net. I'm on Google+. Plus. I'm all over the place, which I know can be a little maddening at times, but I'm more than happy to answer the questions, especially for those who have been supportive of the things that I've offered the community. Either way, uh, you can join us in the chat room. It's a part of a live video feed now having accrued close to 30 million views over the 
course of the past few years that I've been doing it, uh, you're more than welcome to join us. We're geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.